Okay. So uh, it wants you, so in number one, uh, it says calculate the integrals, right? Um, assuming C equals two, we'll come to part four in a second. So uh, the first question is, uh, what is the integral? Uh, C is two, right? So two integral um, uh, x minus c, which means x minus two. So that means here the direct delta function had shifted by an amount two along the x-axis. And this is going from minus one to one, which means the direct delta function now is centered here. Now, what do you think the answer here is? Uh, wait, this is shifted by an amount too. And we are integrating from minus one to one. Well, you can clearly see that, uh, uh, that the direct delta function is outside the limits of integration. If it's outside the limits of integration, the answer is going to be zero. You see? Uh, versus if, if, you, if you look at number two, when you go from minus 10 to 10 for the same thing, for 4, because C is 2, uh, uh, 4x uh, delta x minus uh, C minus 2 dx. OK? Now, here, here, if you shift 2 and you're going between minus 10 and 10, you are within the bounds of integration, right? You are within the bounds of integration. So, so that means uh, the, the Dirac delta function will do what? Okay. Uh, will pick up. The value of the function, the value of the function here is 4x. This is f of x. Okay. It picks up the value of f of x at x equals 2. So you get f of 2. So the integral becomes 4 times 2 becomes 8. Because now it is within the bounds of integration. Right? And for the third one, uh, oh wait, it's saying it needs uh, a password to sync this. I, I do, the password should be there. Why is it saying that? Uh, one second. Uh, let me see what the pass I forgot because otherwise the notes won't sync. Then uh, give me a second here. Uh, we do need the password for this thing. Uh, I wrote it here somewhere. Uh, Okay, this is USC. <laughs> Underscore. What? That. <laughs> and password is okay. Yeah, now it should be fine. Okay, questions so far on those two that we did.
so uh, this was number one and this was number the second one on the third one it says the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity uh, x minus c which 2 c is 2 so x minus 2 squared uh, direct delta function of 2x dx All right so uh, here what changed is instead of uh, instead of having direct delta function of 2x of x you have direct delta function of 2x now if you look in your in your book uh, there's a formula that says uh, the direct delta function of kx becomes it's actually a question that you're you're supposed to prove i think he uh, he has it in one either the problems or the examples i forgot it's 1 over k absolute value of k times the direct delta function of x already what exactly what is the direct delta what is it like what is it it's a it's a tool uh, that uh, allows you to figure out integrals in a fairly simple way uh, it's a function it's 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 a function that's defined in math so that uh, you know it picks up one value somewhere because its area is is one the integral is one where it's centered and everywhere else it's zero it's a theoretical tool it's a theoretical tool yeah Yeah. So now, in, in this, in this, I mean, just learn how to work with it. That's what's important. So, uh, so here, uh, I can replace the 2x. This becomes minus infinity to plus infinity, x minus 2 square. And the k is 2, so this becomes 1 over 2, direct delta function of x. dx. Okay, and now what's that going to do? Well, it's going to pick up the value. Uh, the half can come outside the integral. You are within the bounds. I mean, the two is within the bounds of integration. So you will get one half. And uh, the direct delta, so the integral picks up the value at zero because this is direct delta function at x equals zero, right? So you're going to get 0 minus 2. Uh, first, hold on. Let's, uh, let's, because there's an absolute value, let's split this integral into two integrals. So we're going to go from minus infinity to plus infinity so we can remove the absolute value. So, so we're going to go from minus infinity to 0. All right. Well, hold on. Actually, it's not going to matter because uh, because x minus two is squared. Yeah, it's not the the absolute value isn't going to matter. We can just do it in one. Uh, well, whatever. Let's uh, let's just. So if you remove the absolute value here, right? Uh, you're going to get uh, uh, x right. The absolute value will be uh, uh, minus. Uh, let's just do it in one stroke. There's no need to split the integral because it's squared. So infinity, right? Uh, of uh, 0 minus 2. So well, there's no more integral because we are evaluating 0 minus 2 squared, right? Which becomes 1 half times 4, which becomes a 2. Correct? So that's basically the idea.
of uh, behind uh, the direct delta function. Um, 